Okay, all these people going to Area 51 and, or went to Area 51 at night, and they were scared. I wasn't, I mean, I was a little nervous, but I drove by myself to Area 51 in the middle of the winter, dead at night, by myself, only one on the road, dirt road. Only one in practically, I was practically the only one at the little alien inn. There was like nobody else there that I know of. I was the only one in the trailer. It was creepy as hell, and their Dr. Pepper was expired at the time. Because <laughs> they have to fill up every few months uh, their supplies, because it's like 40 miles to the nearest gas station. And it was just funny because when I bought the Dr. Pepper from them, it, it tastes like crap because it was old. It was like expired by about a year. So nobody had got Dr. Pepper in over two years. And it was a, it was flat. That's what it was. It was flat. It didn't taste bad. It was just flat. Even though I had just opened it. But it, And I looked at the expiration date. And it was like two years old. So I told could you guys, could you guys refresh that Dr. Pepper? And then when, um, when I came, when I came back, they had brand new Dr. Pepper. And it was ice cold. And they said, here you go. And, and you know, they had it on ice and everything. They were nice. And they had it by my trailer door in the morning. <laughs> Early in the morning. They were like, they, they were sorry. So I guess they drove all the way to uh, the Shell gas station and got me the Dr. Pepper. That was very nice of them, by the way. By the, time, by the way, I was drinking Diet Dr. Pepper at the time. <laughs> Uh, look at, look at, I mean, this was a stupid video, this was just a little parody video, like, I mean, I was out there in the middle of nowhere, dude, like, like there was nobody else out there, there was no Area 51 gathering or police, it was by myself, but, I do love me some, uh, conspiracies, but, uh, I honestly believe that they just have the aliens there, or, or the advanced spaceships, it doesn't really matter, I was young, ish. Oh, um, See, I went all the way to Area 51. I went all the way by myself in the middle of the night. There they are. There are the signs. And there are the camel dudes. <laughs> don't pass the, just don't pass the fence. It'll be just fine. And don't pass the signs, and they will come after you. And all by myself. Nobody was there. <laughs> It was, it was scary. I'll, I'll admit it was a little scary, but I'm not really, like, scary because I knew that they were the fucking government and if anything was going to happen to me, the camera dudes would come down and protect me. Like, I knew that. That's the one thing that I wasn't really scared. U.S. Air Force installation. Because they watch, they can watch you at a, at, a, at a distance coming from the main uh, row from the 375 extraterrestrial and they can watch you come all the way down from there and if something was happening to you, uh, the Kalma dudes would actually respond. So I'm not worried about that part. Like if, you, if, like, if I was being hurt right there by the entrance, they would obviously come and help. Like, they're not going to just sit there and just watch somebody get hurt. They're the government. I mean, I, yeah, they're, you know, they're meant to protect the thing, but at the same time, somebody's being attacked or something, or something happens, I'm sure they'll call for help. Like, if I get a flat tire, you know, they'll probably come down and, and, and call somebody to, to, to get the flat tire taken care of. At the end of the day, you know, these people are very, you know, secretive, but at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure they'll help people that are in need. It doesn't matter. Well, I did this shit before it was fucking famous, bro. I mean, it's been famous for many years, but to go in the middle of the night by myself is pretty impressive. All personnel and the property under their control are subject to search. As long as you don't pass those stupid ass, and you can even see the line. Right here, if you just kind of look at the line, you'll see that passing area 51. Once you pass those signs, boy, those camo dudes will come real quick up on you with those automatic rifles, and they'll kick your ass. Don't think they won't. They'll arrest you, and then they'll tow your vehicle about 100 miles. Because I think it's the nearest towing center. Then they call the sheriff of that uh, county that it's in. Then you have to go to jail, and then you have to get released. Then you have to go to federal court, and it sucks. I've been told horror stories when people pass the lines. If they it, it like like the like the van um 
they got it was a van of people like from England or something like that or Europe or something like that, and they all got char uh, charged for passing the line even though the guy didn't mean to pass the line. He had done it so many times before, but he wasn't paying attention, so he passed it. And it was during the daytime, too. He, they lucky he didn't get shot. Okay, let's look at that. As long as you don't pass the sign, you're good. Uh, it says, warning, Air Force installation. I can't read it. It is unlawful to enter. Warning: No trespassing. Maximum punishment: a thousand dollar fine, six months. 